Hi. Today it is Monday in Bali and it is storming outside today. It's been storming. I'm going to show you my backyard because it's really beautiful. So beautiful. So blessed to be here. Um, so it's been raining and it's going to continue to rain. So I've decided to put in an oil hair mask and hang around my room and get some study done. And I'm studying something really interesting this week and I really want to share. So it's all about your genetic makeup and what you inherit and what you don't. And this is a really important topic for some people because um, generally in the medical world, they do say that you will inherit things from your mother's ancestry or your father's ancestry. So for instance, my mother, for example, my mother had breast cancer, her mother's mother had breast cancer and her mother's mother had breast cancer. So that therefore means I'm doomed and I'm going to end up with breast cancer. So that's like creating a belief system that's kind of um, inheriting this continually down the line. Although it's really important for us to know that this isn't actually the case and uh, a lot of people could be inheriting these kinds of manifestations because of the belief system associated with their way of thinking that, well, it's been down the line thus far, so therefore I will, I will definitely get it. And when you think that way, um, your cells hear every one of your thoughts. That is really just leaving, like it's setting you up for disaster, essentially. So your constitution, this is what I'm learning in school, your constitution is acquired before birth and it's anything genetically related, um, it's the ancestry of your mother and father, um, and it's the quality of your father's sperm and your mother's egg. Um, and this is a really important piece of the puzzle, um, and it's really interesting learning about what your mother was doing pre-pregnancy and during pregnancy has a huge impact on the person that you are today. Um, so for instance, if your mother had a really stressful pregnancy and she had a lot of cortisol in her body, uh, even something like if she was watching a lot of scary movies because a fetus doesn't know the difference between uh, watching a TV screen with a psychopath um, chasing a girl than experiencing the real thing. Um, so it's just all of these little things that really make an impact on the way our DNA was forming and the memory that was storing in our tissue as we were growing in the womb. So I think it's really interesting to go ask your mum um, what her pregnancy was like. I asked mine and my mum can be quite a stressful person. She finds stress in um, things that don't necessarily need to be stressful and I've definitely inherited that. Um, and I asked her, I said, mom, did you have a stressful pregnancy? What was your pregnancy like? How are you eating? And she was like, yeah, I was eating great. I'm very stress-free. You were the easiest of the three children. Um, although I'm skeptical towards this because naturally my entire life, I have been a very stress, stressed out person, um, which wasn't necessarily, um, necessary. And she's very much so like that as well. She just finds everything to stress over. And that's kind of like how I was before I started meditation and yoga, which has really slowed things down for me and put things in perspective. So anybody who feels like they've inherited that from their mum, yeah, meditation, it's key. Um, so questions that you can ask your mum about her pregnancy, which will help you gain a better understanding of your constitution are Things like um, what type of lifestyle were they living prior to conceiving you? What type of foods were they eating? Uh, did they have any major stress going on in their life? And what kind of emotions were present for them during their pregnancy? And how was their emotional state or their energy in comparison to your siblings? Because this gives you a really good idea of um, what things were like 
in the womb for you. Um, so this is really interesting. So go, I challenge you to go ask your mom these questions um, and see if you can put together any links. Um, the Another huge thing that impacts the type of people we are is um, the birth. The birth is a huge, huge part in this and the kinds of trauma we experience. Um, a lot of people actually carry this on into their life um, because that's essentially the first big trauma that some of us, most of us experience. I'd say actually around 90, 95, maybe more percent of us experience very traumatic births because we are taken away from our parents far too soon. Um, our, our source of life, the umbilical cord, is cut way too soon as well. Um, and it's just like a very stressful experience. So, uh, yeah, ask your mom about that and get a better understanding because it's really interesting, I find. Um, but the good news is learning about all of this is your, con um, your constitution is just one small piece of the puzzle when it comes to your genetic makeup and who you are as a person um, and how your genes decide to express themselves because your condition is acquired after birth and it is actually very easy to change through diet and lifestyle. Um, so this is all about the concept epigenetics for anyone who is familiar, um, which is essentially your DNA and how it decides to express itself in response to its current environment. So the way you're living today actually plays a huge role on your actual genetic makeup because your lifestyle habits, your diet, how much stress you experience in your day-to-day -day life um, and your belief systems about your body are going to silence some genes and they're going to activate others. So you're, the way that you're showing up in the world today is totally affecting your gene pool um, and anything you've inherited can be manipulated through the way that you're living. So it's really not all about your genetics or what you've inherited from your parents. Um, there's so much more than that and it can be changed every single day from moment to moment, meal to meal. So you decide how you want, how your body wants to react and how your genes want to express themselves. So actually you hold the key to your health 100%. So I hope this excites you, excites me. Um, that we have the power. It's all up to us. So have a fabulous day, everyone, and I will speak to you soon.